okay good day to you all uh, my name is um, Edward Jacob for those of you that have subscribed to my youtube channel really appreciate the fact that you are joining us here today again today we'll be taking it on a video on our introduction to Microsoft Word so um, program we'll be making use of is the Microsoft Office Word program. So, what is the Microsoft Office Word program? Generally, the Microsoft Office Word program is actually a word processing program. What does that mean? It means it's um, used to uh, make changes on changes on text so Microsoft Office Word is used to make changes on text and we'll be seeing how we can make use of the Microsoft Office um, Word program today so what's the first thing we'll be finding out today so what we'll be finding out today so today we'll be talking about this few information first of all we'll be seeing um, um, first of all, we see, um, let's say, um, version, um, saving documents, um, opening documents, and uh, page sets up. So, we're tackling those three information today. So. Uh, let's pay attention carefully as we are handling those three topics. So now, what we have here is a Microsoft Office window. Yeah, it may look familiar to many of you, but um, we will still talk a little about it. So the first here is the top here, which is the title bar. <coughs> title bar shows actually, if you look at the right hand side here, WORD. WORD here stands for the program we are on now, remember, Microsoft Office Word. WRD. The right hand side is the program name. The left hand side here is actually a default is a default um, file name for what we have right now. In simple term, what we have here is literally not saved to our PC or anywhere or cloud. No, it's not. My Mac server is not connected to my cloud, so it's not saved to my cloud. Except I do save it to my cloud. So Remember, what we have here now is not saved. So this is a default name for what we have here, just as a default name. So it is advisable that we give this document a name. But we'll come back to that. Now, if you notice our Microsoft window, we have um, top top here, we have file, home, insert, design, page layout, reference, million review, and view. Now, these are called ribbons. If we check each of them, then we start from the file. You see this? There's a menu here. We will come to this menu very soon to look for something. We'll be coming here to use the save us. Let's go back. Well, then we have the home where we are. We have the inserts. We have the design. We have the page um, page layout. We have the page layout. Uh, we have the reference, mailing, review, and then the view. So each of these ribbons are filled with tools that we will be using with time to make changes on our text on our page so uh, we're talking much about that but today we'll be coming to only the file and the page layout to do some few changes on our page so um let's not wait more time so now we say we are trying to save Remember the version I'm using for this Microsoft for this um, 2013. So if you are using an older version or a more latest version, have no fear. Microsoft has designed that um, irrespective of the upgrade of the version, uh, there are literally few changes. And um, one happy thing I always know is uh, most of the tools that on Microsoft Word are not that far different from each other so you can easily find some few things in easy easy places so but today what we'll be talking on are actually easy to find so 
we shouldn't worry about that so um how can we save so remember um there's a, a funny shortcut that um, people use in saving documents let's see um many of you are used to the ctrl the control key on your keyboard and uh, the s so but today we will not be using the contrast but remember that we'll use it later but then let's go to the file and let's do save as now save as we prompt for a location where it wants you to save your document to now me i'm coming to the computer which is my pc and i'll be hitting the browse now when i hit the browse i'll be coming to documents now on documents here i have a folder set up already to collect my save document for for the class so that will be uh, online class documents okay so i'll go into the folder so if you notice the top here this pc document online class document but this time i'll be giving it a name so what name will i give it let me see So we're doing the Microsoft Word introduction. So remember we save it in documents in the folder name online class documents and the file name Microsoft Word introduction. So let's save. So now let's come back to the title bar here. So we see originally we had document one, right? So now document one has changed to Microsoft Word introduction, which is the name we have saved this document to right now. Remember, we're still on Word, so we have saved that document. So, which means everything we have here now has been saved into this particular file name, Microsoft Word Introduction. But then, sometimes we make changes on this particular document. Let me do this. Let's see. Um, on a regular basis, we need to update the data on our documents to update the file so what does this mean so if you notice before everything i had here was excluding this one let's just assume this is the changes we have made to this particular document now remember we saved some seconds ago right now let's see what happens if I attempt to close this document. So when I hit close, you see it pop up a, a little warning. That's a warning. Want to save changes to Microsoft Word introduction? Now what does this warning mean? It means it has noticed that we added a particular information on this document, and uh, that information is not on the previous one we have saved. So it will prompt you to actually save. So it is always important that on a regular basis we update that information on our on our document. So every time we hit the control S, the control S literally will help us um, update that information. Now let's notice something here in case you don't notice. Now I'll be I'll be creating a little signal to know where my mouse is. So if you see that's where my mouse pointer is. Now let's see what happens when I hit the control and the S. So you see, so that shows you that it has updated that information. So you see, that information has been updated. Now how can we know? If I choose to close this document now, it will not prompt me for that warning. It will not prompt that warning. So let's hit close. So you see, the reason why it allowed me to close is because the information I have now has been updated. So now, let's find out how to actually open our document so this is my file manager this is my pc under my pc if you remember uh, where we saved that document to we saved it in documents now in documents we had a folder which is online class documents so let's open that folder and we had a file name microsoft word introduction so let's double click so this will open our file 
and my system is a little slow yeah there we go so you see we have a file our file open so we know how to open documents but then there are other ways to open our documents also um, so there are other ways to open our document so you see here on the file menu it's also open so if i hit this open now that same prompt is like saying where is the file i want to open so if it's in this pc which is computer you browse you know where you save it to uh, the one i want to open is on documents um it's on a folder online class documents and there so that same process too can be used to open your document which means you literally have to open the program first which will give you a blank page then you attempt to open from the file which will prompt you to check your directory it will direct it to your file manager um, the fact is learn to know where you saved your document remember i have like a, a direction at which i followed like a map so uh, learn to understand where you saved your document for this particular file uh, i see my document my documents it's in a folder named um, online class document why am i doing this and um file named microsoft word introduction <laughs> sorry so let's learn to be aware of where we are saving our, our files to it's very 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 important remember the advantage of saving your file is literally so you can um, locate that particular file in later time maybe sometimes in the future uh, you may have saved uh, a lot of files and uh, maybe you may not even remember where that particular file is but my own technique is um, creating folders and giving those folders name that helps me identify what kind of files are in them so in my own case my folder is online class documents so in the future if i'm choosing to look for online file documents i will not be going too far i know it's in my documents so i'll just go and look for that folder so it helps me find the specific file i'm looking for so the last thing now is the page setup what is page setup now i always tell my students this, that page setup is a setting you do on your page as to how you want it printed this is our page remember it was blank we added some things how do you want it printed what do you want to print what are you creating if i'm creating say a cv the page setup i've given the page is different if i'm if i say i'm creating a um, let's say a, a timetable the page setup will be different so the page setup determines how you want it printed or if you're not wanting it printed but page setup is always important for us that mostly print so what the setup is there by default so by default um, there are some few page setup that are actually there we have um, the paper size we have the orientation we have the margins so uh, by default uh, the the paper size on our microsoft office mode is actually letter where the orientation is a portrait and um, we have um, four margins the four margins are measured by size mine is in centimeter for left right top and bottom so the page has four margins so that is the default setup that this that is on this max of what documents now so remember we said the page setup is the setup we do on our page as to how we want it printed now if i'm to do a, 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 a cv so to say i'll be needing to change this one i may not even need to change the others but because of the paper i have 
mostly here we have um, A4 papers, they are mostly common, except for the architects and those in other section that uses much more bigger paper, maybe like the A3 paper or sometimes A2 paper. But our regular printing here, uh, we mostly have the A4 paper. So if I'll be making my page setup for this page, um, I'll be doing my adjustment to something much more different. So where can we find page setup? I remember we said we have our ribbons. We glanced through the ribbons before. So we're coming to the page layout ribbon. Now if you notice this small box here, this small box should pop you up a tab. So the popped up tab will be able to help us find how we can make these three changes. Now you see these three changes, we have the paper size, the orientation and the margin, right? So first of all, this is the margins. Remember I said my margin is in centimeter, right? I have changed my setup to centimeter before, 2.54 centimeter. Top, bottom, left and right. And the paper, let's go to the paper. So by default, letter, it's on letter. Let's just change it to A4. Scroll down, you should find A4, it's already there. Then the margins and the orientation, portrait. So this is how you can make that settings remember it's important that you know the paper you are printing your document on it's key for those that are printing it is much key anybody other preparing a book must know the size of the book so you can do the necessary settings that will help you print correctly so having done those three setup let's hit okay so now we have handled the three setup of our page um, we change ours to A4, so let's just do um, this, I'm not going to put it here, but I will, so we change ours to A4, we do not change anything else, so, uh -huh. so we really have talked a lot today. Uh, so let's just go through what we have done today. So today we talked about a word processing program and this particular case is Microsoft Microsoft Office Word. We know Microsoft Office Word help us make changes to text. You see all we had, all we are having here today are just block of text. And then some few changes are done here like the bold and the italic. Those were done from the home ribbon. Bold and italic. Now this here is some um, what we call bullets. Those from the home ribbon. Bullets from the home ribbon. Where they were added, we will talk about that much in the next video though, but um, some few things are added from the home ribbon here. Uh -huh. So, we we'll talk about the fashion, we know mine is uh, 2013, we learned how to save documents, in this particular case we saved this um, particular um, file in my documents we save it in a folder name online class document and with the file name microsoft word introduction so we learned how to save then we closed our document and we found out how to open that document we have saved using the same information we use in saving it's like a map or a road map to where the file is then we talk about the page setup the page setup is the setting we do on our page. In this particular case, we only changed one thing, which is um, from letter to A4. So um, that um, concludes the part of the Microsoft introduction for today. So remember, um, if you need a uh, few guide on um, how to understand what I've been talked today, or of you part of Microsoft Word, you can join the next video or check topics on Microsoft Word that will be up uploading with time. So in the next video, we'll be working on a CV. 
then we'll be using some few tools that are majorly necessary when you are working on text how to adjust your text to fit on your page um, and some few information that you need to easily um, create simple documents on your own from your computer so it's nice to have you all here remember my name is Edward Jacob um, we have appreciated your